Wrecking Ball Ligurski, and you are watching Trey 41 Gaming! Hello everyone, this is Dre41 and welcome to Wrestling Revolution High Stakes Pay-Per-View and we are live in Sin City, Las Vegas, Nevada and we have a great show for you this evening. And you heard it here, that television championship is on the line. And on the line against a man who just signed with PWR. And he is making his debut here tonight. This is going to be one hell of a battle here, I am telling you. And we're going to see what this new signee is able to do here tonight. This is going to be a big, big test for this man here we are going to see if he can uh if he can prove himself this this is going to be a test i mean this man here alexander vashan is going to have to bring it he is going to have to show the outcast that he is serious about being here in pwr and that i mean what's the chances you know what i'm saying like what are the chances of him in his first match becoming champion here in PWR. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it, it's, it's a possibility. It's definitely a possibility, but I don't know. I mean, the Outcast has been on such a roll and it seems like anything the Outcast sets his mind to, he just does. That just seems like what it is with the Outcast, but Mr. Fashan, uh, Fashan here is going to have to go all out. He is going up against a former world heavyweight champion and the current television champion here in PWR and maybe the outcast can turn around the uh quote on <laughs> I don't but they say it's cursed they say the television championship is cursed I'm not so sure that that's the case but regardless the outcast is about to defend the championship this is his first title defense and we are going to see if he can bring it here tonight. We're going to see if he is able to really show that, uh, that, uh, I don't know, that that curse is not real. But we'll be, I mean, we'll see. Outcast coming out with the championship around his waist. And the one thing I'm pretty sure he wants to do is show the world that, that he is the very best, that he is the excellence, that he is the top guy here in PWR, even though he doesn't hold the world title. He is, he's the top guy. And I think defending that championship right there on multiple occasions successfully would prove that point. I mean, if you think about it, uh, Patrick Rage, one of the greatest television champions ever, ever. He defended that championship so many times in multi-man matches. Every time. He, I mean, he did it so many times. And it took... Up until his last match, I mean, he gave one hell of a fight. But we'll see what the outcast can do. Introducing the challenger from the Garden of Eden, weighing in at 285 pounds, Don Alexander Vashon. And Alexander Vashon ready to go here. He better be laser focused on beating the outcast. He better be, because this, this is... This is going to be a doozy. The champion from New Jersey, weighing in at 241 pounds, he is the Pro Wrestling World's Television Champion, the man of a thousand holds, the innovator, Mr. Amazing, the Outlaw. And the Outcast holding the gold. We will see if he will successfully defend it here tonight. And this may be the last time he hands off that championship that he won from Spike. Spike is going to be in action later on tonight. 
it's a huge main event. <laughs> a huge main event later on tonight. And that is what they're battling for, that PWR Television Championship. This is going to be one hell of a battle. Alexander is ready. The Outcast is ready. Referee calls for the bell, and here we go. And Outcast getting a shoulder block in the very beginnings of this match here. And Alexander not playing around. Definitely holds a size advantage here. Bumps into each other. Slow down in the match here. And uh, the Outcast now has the advantage. Irish whip right into the corner. Huge close line right to the back of the head. And one thing is for sure is that the Outcast feels like he has no equal here in PWR and him going up against a man both of these men never went up against each other before so this is going to be a true test of what they can bring uh, to the table here tonight on uh, revolution I'm sorry well on high stakes sorry and damn he's just throwing the knees right into the back he is beating the hell out of him he needs to do something here Alexander is not faring so well in this match right now and now Alexander looks like he wants to fight back, finally, catching a couple of knees to the spine. And a huge sit-out spine buster going for the pin attempt here. Referee in position, one, just a one count. The outcast able to kick out. Alexander now on the offense and a stomp right to the face. And now he is going to put that work in. Oh, an overhand chop right to the head of the television champion. An elbow right to the back of the head. He is teeing off. Okay, Alexander showing some, some fire right now against the television champion, but the outcast not letting that go on too much longer. Caught him with a European uppercut. And now what's he going to go for here? Neck breaker on to Alexander. And he might be in some trouble here. And now what's this? Stomp right to the face. Damn. Now turning him again. Another stomp to the face. The outcast being very disrespectful right now. And picking up the challenger right now, Alexander. Oh, catching that kick right to the face out of nowhere. And it might be over. It just might be over. One, two. Wow. What the hell? The outcast showing his dominance here tonight against Alexander Fashan. Damn. I mean, Alexander, I mean, he... He definitely tried to do his thing here, but Outcast, I mean, just. I mean, the Outcast put him out. I mean, no pun intended, but the Outcast made short work of Alexander Vashon. I am very surprised on that one. And up next, we have the PWR Junior Heavyweight Championship on the line. We have three men who are going to battle it out here tonight in a ladder match to determine who will walk away with the gold. This is going to be a very, very interesting contest between these three men. And uh, I'm ready to see who's going to walk away with the championship here tonight. And the first man on his way out here is the former champion himself, King Devitt. And, uh, man, he is coming out here with the black and white screen here. Very dark, very ominous. And uh, you can tell that he is super, super serious about what's going to happen here tonight. This is his opportunity. This is his um, redemption of sorts to win back the championship. King Devitt, I mean, he is, I mean, just looking at him, he, he, he looks very, very uh, I mean, scary. As, oh, my goodness. He, he's serious. If one thing you can say, he is very serious. But this match right here, I mean, this is high stakes. This, this is the reason why this pay-per-view is high stakes. And to have to, to give it their all, to walk away with the championship, this isn't, going to be an easy contest in the least this is going to have to be a match where they're ready to put each other down in order to walk away with the victory 
that's what's going to have to happen here. And fans are on their feet. They are they're ready to see this go down. And now the former PWR Junior Heavyweight Champion making his return to PWR for this rematch. Will he be able to uh, win this match here? Get the championship back? This, that's going to be the question. And that's a big question here because he's been out of action in PWR for a minute. And uh, Byron making his return here in PWR. And once again, this is going to be a very, very big test for this man to see if he has what it takes to walk away with the victory here tonight. This is going to be a tough one, um, a very tough contest uh, for this competitor here. Once again, I mean, just because he hasn't, I mean, just because he hasn't wrestled in PWR doesn't mean he's not a world renowned athlete. He does wrestle around the world, not just in PWR. So. It's fair enough to say that he's, he's, he's going to be on point here. He's going to be on point here, but he hasn't been in PWR. He hasn't gone up against these two men at the same time. This is going to be a very, very interesting contest. Who do you guys got? Who, who are you betting on that will win this contest here tonight? I mean, the last match was, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, this match here, uh, who do you guys got? Who do you guys, uh, who are you guys betting on here? And here is the champion himself has to defend that championship. And Shot Fox making his way down the ramp here. And once again, we are live in Las Vegas, Nevada. And thank you guys for watching here much appreciated and this is going to be a tough battle for all three of these men this tonight is just a night of bets i mean who do you got and you can see that championship behind him hanging um on that wire there and they're gonna have to utilize those ladders that's something that they're gonna have to do that ladder is going to come into play very very early i'm almost sure of it that that ladder is going to come into play and that is what they're battling for, the PWR Junior Heavyweight Championship. And all three men are prepared to go. This is going to be one hell of a contest. And the bell rung. Oh, and a big clothesline. And King Devitt went straight for Shot Fox. Didn't even, didn't even look at Byron. He, he probably doesn't even care that Byron's in the match. He wants to go for Shot Fox. Oh, and Mitch and Noku driver out the gate and now the hell they just running around a little bit they was a little bit dizzy oh wait a minute rip court knee right to the jaw and down goes shot fox he is out and x12 is trying to take him out early he is not playing around right now who go behind good reversal kick right to the back of the leg shot fox with a drop kick right to the back of the head and look at this king devitt trying to go for shot fox here but wait a minute what's this oh just Jumped on the back of X-12, hanging him up against the ropes. And now King Debit has the ladder and drops it. Oh, almost landed on X-12. <laughs> almost landed on him. Forearm shot right to the jaw there. And now turns him around here. Hard Irish whip to the outside. And a backflip and getting hit right in the back of the head. Wow. <laughs> he just literally did a backflip and got hit in the back of the head. That makes perfect sense. And now climbing up to the... Oh, wait a minute. Y'all better pay attention. Y'all better pay attention. King Devitt is trying to win the gold here. What the heck? Okay. Uh, are you going to? Okay. So, he's <laughs> trying to see if he was going to climb. Wait a minute. What the hell is he doing? Oh, my goodness. Cold. Oh, it's over. It's over. Cold breaker from off the top of the ladder. King Devitt's done. He is no longer in this match. I am sure of it. Well, until he gets up. But right now, he's out of it. Damn, he's kind of getting to his feet kind of fast here. And X12 now not wasting any time trying to climb up and get the title for himself. But Shot Fox right behind him. Forearm shot right to the back. And now King Devitt going up top. King Devitt here might be trying to... Oh my goodness, a cutter off the... It's over. It is over. A cutter off the ladder. Down goes X12. And now a hard eye... Oh no, Irish whip right to the outside. Is he going to take him out? 
Wow, it's just gonna climb. Oh, okay. That's strange enough. Forearm shot right to the back, King Debit. Not able to get a grasp of that championship just yet. Another forearm shot. And now X12 deciding to climb up. Punch right to the face, dropping him down. And now X12 trying to grab the ladder. And Shot Fox looking like he wants to push over that ladder. I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to. Look like he doesn't have the strength. Wow. And he's still trying to push over the ladder. Will he be able to? No, he still won't be able to push over the ladder. Oh my goodness, this doesn't make any sense. And now both men <laughs> finally strong enough to push over the ladder. <laughs> oh my goodness. An electric chair drop. Just drilling that, that pain. Just shooting up the spine of X-12. And out the ring he goes. And now, ooh. It's a Gary right to the side of the head. And damn, he just hit the side of the ladder. And now King Devitt is going for the gold, I assume. Both of his opponents are outside of the ring. And this is a perfect, perfect time for, for King Devitt to get back the championship. But no, Shot Fox back on his feet. He is not playing around. And smart move. Don't try to push it over. Just, just climb. Just climb. And now, oh, damn, he getting forearm shot. And, oh, damn, he just... Wow, two for one. A two for one. This might be his opportunity. This might be his opportunity. What? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It might be over. It might be over. Is it? Oh no, is it? Is he going to be able to push over the ladder? I don't think he's strong enough. Oh my goodness. No, he's not strong enough to push over the ladder. Oh my goodness. What is he doing? Is he trying to get Byron up to help? What is he doing? Oh, forearm shot right to the back. He's still holding on, though. He wants that championship. Another forearm shot. Wow, he is holding on. Shot Fox is not playing. Oh, and what is X12 doing? Oh, forearm shot. Now he finally let go. And now... Oh, another forearm shot, and down he goes. And now look at Devitt. Devitt trying to grab the championship, and now X12 trying to push over the ladder, and he does. And now what is he going to do here? Looks like a power bomb. Just drilled him right in the middle of the ring. And X-12 now has the advantage. But he's definitely going to have to move Devitt out. Well, Devitt rolls out the way. Good assist. <laughs> and now X-12 climbing back up. Now looks like he's a little bit tired here. Taking his time. But he has uh, King Devitt right behind him. he got to stay on point here. And now grabbing the championship. But now King Devitt back up. Forearm shot again. And throws him down. And now, King Debit has the championship in his grasp. Will he be able to take it back here? And what is Shot Fox doing? What is Shot Fox doing? Why well, he picks him up to help him push over the ladder, maybe? I'm not sure. And now climbing back up. What the? What is he doing? Wow, King Debit with the victory. Winning back the gold here. Damn, that this was a very, very odd match here. I'm going to say that. This was a very, very odd type of matchup here. A three-way ladder match. It, it was a bit strange. I'm just going to put it out there. Look at that drop kick. And then right here, that forearm shot right to the jaw. You could have broken it. And that code breaker. That move probably hurt X-12 more than it hurt Devitt here. Look at that cutter. Damn. Some high-risk maneuvers here by all three of these men here. Damn, they went all out against each other. Here is your winner and new Pro Wrestling Junior Heavyweight World And up next, we have the PWR Tag Team Championships on the line. And these men want the gold back. They haven't had the greatest record here as of late in PWR, but um, if, if it goes the way they would like, uh, they will walk away with the championship. But I'm, I'm not too sure they'll be able to. I don't know. I, I can't doubt the Violent Gentlemen. They've been on a slump as of late. They haven't been really the top tag team that they have been um, in PWR, so it's a little bit difficult to say that they have a great chance of winning. Especially with extreme difficulty, man. I can't say I can't say 
less about them. Like, Extreme Difficulty is the sleeper team of PWR. They are like, they are like oil and water that just works. Like, they're so different, but they're so alike. And I think that's the reason why they've been so successful here in PWR. And look at this team here. Whoo, they are ready to go. They are ready to go here. This team here, they're ready to defend those championships by any means necessary. This team right here, Extreme Difficulty, the name says it all. They came with a game plan. They decided that they are going to go all out. They decided that they are going to dominate, that they are going to win and do everything they can to make sure that they are solidified as one of the greatest teams in PWR. I mean, both of these men had championship runs. Uh, the bad boy, um, Tommy Blaze, he was former television champion for a cup of coffee. Uh, Kuzoshi was hardcore champion for a cup of coffee. But nonetheless, they are you know able to show that they can win gold in multiple divisions here in PWR. And it's kind of weird that the champions come out second. That's that's a bit weird, but nonetheless, <laughs> the uh, other challengers are making their way to the ring here. And the souls of mischief are making their way. They know what they want to do. They want to be champions again here in PWR. And they actually had a great win um, against the Violent Gentlemen. They had a great win the last time they went off against each other. Uh, but tonight is a brand new night. We are in Las Vegas. This is high stakes. And they are going to have to show that they are ready to do everything possible to win. That's the goal here tonight. You win, you're the champion. I mean, all the championships are on the line. So Souls of Mischief, I mean, they are going to have to... They're going to have to go all out here if they want to get gold. I mean, think about it. I don't even know. Is, is Zandria Washington with the Souls of Mischief? Is, is she still with them? Or I don't know. Is she with her husband? Who knows? I don't know. But if she is, I mean, it would be cool to see Souls of Mischief win the gold. Zandria defend the title successfully. And hell, even if Ken Washington... Well, Ken Washington is not with Souls of Mischief. But if Ken Washington was to uh, is to win here tonight that would be very interesting that would be very interesting but the fans are on their feet and the titles are on the line and here we go and all three teams going at it here and this is going to be very very difficult to call this is going to be a fight a brawl bedlam a pier six brawl uh anarchy everything all the crazy words we're just going to use it for this match and I'm telling you, they're going to go all out here. So you got to pay attention to what's going on here. And if I was a betting man, the one thing I would want to do is try to get this match as over, over with as quickly as possible. And look at this, the submission tried to get done on uh, Charles Bing here and Duke Little coming in for the save. And looks like Tommy Blaze is going to get a double teamed here by the Violent Gentleman. Oh, wait a minute, knock him down there. And why would you taunt? Why would you taunt? That just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. And outside the ring, we have Nolan Franklin going up against Kuzoshi here. German suplex on the outside. And Nolan is going all out right now against Kuzoshi. Kuzoshi, very dangerous. Hard Irish whip to the outside of the ring. And now look at that spear with those hammer fists onto the face of Charles Bing. And yeah, they're going all out here. This, this is not going to be easy to call. It's... There's wrestlers everywhere. They're, they're fighting. They're beating each other up. Ooh, right hand just took out Bing here. And now taunting him on the inside of the ring. I, see, that right there, I don't understand. Why even do that? Why? Just just fight. Fight the guy, you know? Now, wait a minute. Roll through. And look at this. Look at this leg lock here. Rolling through with this leg lock and not getting the submission off just yet. And this isn't... I don't believe this is eliminate. Oh, wait a minute. Roll through with the pen. Roll through with the pen. Oh, not even a one count. Look like maybe it was a rope break. Maybe it wasn't. I'm not sure. Oh, inside the cradle. Inside cradle. Going for the pen here. Referee for the count two. Oh, just a two count. Just a two count. The violent gentlemen are still in this one. And I do believe this is elimination rules in this match here. Big European uppercut. 
And these all three teams are back into the ring here. And this is where just the fighting and the brawling just continues. They, th There's no love lost between any one of these teams. Honestly, I think the team that's less hated, I would have to say, is extreme difficulty. And that's maybe because they're so new and they don't really... I mean, they don't, they don't really talk trash to anybody. They just kind of go out and just hurt you and, and win matches, which is good. But now Nolan Franklin might be doing something bad to uh, might be doing something bad to Kazoshi here in the fisherman suplex with the bridge. Referee for the count two, three. Oh, Kuzoshi just got eliminated here, and we might have new tag team champions right around the corner. But Tommy Blaze can still save it. And which, I, honestly, if I was a betting man, I cannot bet that Tommy Blaze would be able to save this match for extreme difficulty. I cannot see that happening. I honestly cannot. I, I don't know. Like, the odds are so stacked up against him, going up against the Souls of Mischief and the Violent Gentleman by himself. I mean, if you think about it, maybe the Violent Gentleman and Souls of Mischief can eliminate each other, which can help uh, Tommy Blaze, but I'm not so sure that that's the case. And now look at this. Camel Clutch trying to go for the submission here. Nope. Able to get out of that one easy enough. And now it looks like Justice Rage might be in trouble. Good reversal there. Oh, Hard Irish whipped to the outside. And this is the opportunity. Wow. They gave up a double team possibility. Well, nope. He's going for the Souls, so I guess that kind of makes sense. And now look at this. Ooh, try to go for a backbreaker. See, they're just trying to double team Nolan. Nolan is in trouble here. Damn, just threw him right into the table. Yeah, Nolan might be in some trouble here. I, I don't I don't know if he's gonna be able to survive. Okay, so now uh Justice Rage coming out trying to help his partner here. And Sagari right to the back of the head. And now Justice Rage being smart, throwing his opponent into the ring and deciding to take the fight inside the ring as opposed to outside. I mean, the Souls of Mischief um, fight with the best of them, but their best work is in the ring. I mean, they're not, you know, hardcore guys where they'll fight on the outside. They will if they have to, but in the ring is where they do their best work. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Oh, my goodness. Tiger suplex. And he rolled out the ring. Smart move. Oh, my goodness. Forearm shots to Nolan Franklin. Oh, no. What's this? Another Tiger suplex. Damn. He trying to hurt him, hurt him. And now Duke Little might be trying to take out Tommy Blaze in a dream crusher headbutt. It's over. It's over. It's done. Referee for the count. One, two, three. Wow. We will see new tag team champions here tonight. I cannot. Will it be a night where they're just new champions? What if that's the case? Oh, my goodness. That cross arm brain buster. Oh, he interrupted. Smart move. Brain Buster. Short Brain Buster just drilled him right in the middle of the ring. And he should go for the pin. Okay. It might be time for the Souls to win the championships. It might be time. Look at this. Fisherman Suplex holding on here. Referee for the count. One, two, three. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and a face cutter out of nowhere. Face cutter out of no. It might be over. It might be over here. We might see the Souls of Mischief win the PWR Tag Team Championships here tonight. Once again, they had a great victory against the Violent Gentlemen. They just might pull it off again. And now they're not even letting Duke Little get back to his feet. They're just stomping the hell out of him. And now look at this regal stretch. But it was a rope break? Eh, I'm not sure if it was a rope break. Um, I'm iffy on that one. That that was a bit iffy. But shoots the half. Going for the pin here. Referee getting the position. One, two. Oh, almost a three count. Almost a three count. Duke Little able to stay in this one. But I think the writing's on the wall. Insecurity right to the back of the head. I think the writing is on the wall. I don't see the violent gentleman winning the tag team championships here tonight i don't see it happening I, the odds just look too stacked against them i i cannot see that happening now look at this will barrel oh into a neck breaker young blood neck breaker there 
and not giving him no room to breathe. And now, oh, wait a minute. Oh, good reversal there. Forearm shot right to the face. And Nolan might want to pay attention to what's going on here. And it's too late. Oh, man. Oh, he saved him. Oh, he saved him. Oh, my goodness. Justice. Oh. Oh, low blow. Oh, no. Butterfly suplex. Oh, my goodness. See, now this is an opportunity. If Duke Little was able to get the advantage somehow, he could possibly get the win and make this a one-on-one -on -one match. Oh, damn. I spoke too soon. It's over. <laughs> I spoke too soon. It's over. One, two. Wow. Just a two count. Just a two count. Wow. Okay. Okay, I see what he about. Oh, forearm shot by Duke Little. And now what's this? Irish whip right into the corner. Full head of steam. Forearm shot taking down Justice. And now trying to pick him up here. Not able to keep the advantage. Arm breaker. And now what's going to happen here? Looks like a hard Irish whip to the outside. And Nolan Franklin is holding on as much as he can right now. That low blow took a lot out of him. <laughs> it did. He is he is stunned on the outside. <laughs> he's all right, he's finally getting back to his feet here. I know he was just like, man, that was real. Duke Little ain't no small guy, man. He hit you with one of them low blows, man. You down for the count for a while. And now it's a hard Irish whip back onto the inside of the ring here. Justice Rage overhand and a boot right to the side of the head. Duke Little busted open. He is hurting bad. Nolan wanting to end this. And we're going to see if that's the case here. He's going to go for that fisherman suplex. Boom! Caught it with the bridge. Referee for the count two and three. The souls of mischief once again win gold here in PWR. They are the new PWR World Tag Team Champions. They do not play around. They have won the gold here tonight at high stakes and they have shown that they are the very best when it comes to tag teams here in PWR, but you know for sure that uh, that uh, Extreme Difficulty is going to get rematched. They're going to want their rematch. I'm almost sure of it. Maybe. I mean, they're not really a tag team. They kind of are, but eh. Well, congratulations to these two men winning the gold here tonight at high stakes. They bet their money on themselves, and they came out the victors. Congratulations to them. The new champs are here in PWR. And up next, the PWR Women's Championship is on the line. And this is going to be an awesome match. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Mercedes Jones. And uh, Mercedes Jones has been implemented into this match mainly because she was able to get some great victories and even a victory against the number one contender, uh, Victoria. So now she, uh, by PWR management, has been implemented in this match. So she is now back and the top position to win the PWR Women's Championship. So, uh, yeah, Mercedes got to be on point tonight. She has to be on point tonight to walk away with the gold here. This is her opportunity. This is her chance to show that she deserves that championship. She got to take this opportunity and run with it. And here is the number one contender for the PWR Women's Championship, and uh, you got to be on point too. And Victoria representing Violence United. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's not too happy with the Violent Gentleman not being able to walk away with the victory. Um, yes, it's, it's kind of not good, but at the end of the day, it kind of boils down to. Uh, now she just has to uh, do it on her own. I mean, 
you would think that she would look up to Duke Little and uh, Charles Bing, you know, for advice, but it looks like she's kind of on her own with this one. I mean, Violent Gentlemen haven't been doing so well lately here in PWR, so I don't know. I don't know, but uh, Victoria, number one contender, so we'll see what happens. And Zeandria Washington making her way to the ring, wearing that PWR Women's Championship that she won from Brittany Glam here, and she has held the gold ever since. I do believe this is her first title defense, so she's gonna have to be on point. She can't. Be, I'm pretty sure she doesn't want to be a one and done. I mean, the last two championship matches that we've had, the titles has changed hands. So, uh, we're going to see exactly what happens here tonight. And yes, that PWR championship is on the line. And we might see a new champion crowned here tonight as the referee holds up the gold. That beautiful championship. I think it needs to have the new PWR logo stamped on it. But, you know, it's, it's fine. It's cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All three women prepared to go here. Referee letting them know they've got to get ready. And, oh, look at that. Discus double axe handle that drop kick. The Andrea not playing around. Okay, okay, going all out right now. I like that. And the elbow drop right to the soul. And now, oh, trying to go for a forearm shot. And these two women are were tag teaming with each other for a two weeks there, and then it all broke down as Mercedes Jones is not okay with helping the champion. She wants to be the champion. Oh, and tried to let her hold on, but a Victoria got bored and decided to clothesline. Okay. And single arm DDT or divorce court, whatever one you want to call it. And now Victoria with the advantage here. Triangle trying to choke her out here. And I don't think she's going to be able to do that. Not at all. And now, oh, shoulder block taking down the champ. And now Victoria and Mercedes Jones. Both of them are actually in factions that cannot stand one another. Well, I don't know. I don't know if Mercedes is Mercedes Jones with Philly's most is Aiden Davis with Philly's most wanted. Like I don't even I don't know. It is what it is. I guess they repping they're all from Philly, I guess, so yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and now Victoria throwing a ooh a punch right to the gut. That looked like it was a little low there. Overhand right. And another overhand right and a drop kick right to the side of the head, taking down Victoria. And you could thank Jones for that one. An uppercut taking her down. And now look at this. Picks her up. And a huge high angle backdrop. And now what is she doing? Going up top here for what? And a frog splash right on the spine. She kind of bricked that one. She, she kind of bricked that one. I, I don't know if she caught all that. Mercedes Jones not the high flying type. So it's a little bit strange for her to go up for a high risk maneuver like that. But now going for the pin attempt there, only a one count. And Mercedes taunting, which is not a great idea. Hammer lock and a scoop slam. Trying to dislocate the elbow or the shoulder. Hard Irish whip to the outside of the ring and out goes Victoria. And now it might be time for Zandria and Mercedes to go at it here in a German suplex. Folded her like a lawn chair. Now going for the pin attempt here. Referee for the count. Oh. Just a one count there. And I guess she's trying to stomp her foot. Oh no, double underhooks are in and that's a tiger suplex. Damn. And now, oh, trying to go for something there. Judo throw, good reversal. Oh, and a knife ass chop right into the corner. Big knee, good reversal. And a swinging back elbow. Could take out anybody there. And now an Irish whip right into the corner here. And it might be time for that vi- Ooh, thought it was. Picks her up here. Fireman's carry. Ooh, and dumps her down. Going for the pen attempt here. Referee for the count. One, two. Ooh, almost a three count. Almost a three count. And now here comes Victoria with the elbow right to the side of the head of Mercedes. And Mercedes rolls out the ring. And now what's going to happen here? Picks her up. And a violence driver with the- with the grabbing the leg with the pin combination to oh Zeandria has been eliminated there will be a new 
women's champion here in PWR. And now, ooh, backbreaker there on the outside in Victoria and Mercedes Jones. One of these two women will be the new PWR women's champion. Threw her face right into the apron there. And now picking her back up here. She is in trouble. Ooh, tried to go for a kick there. Spins her around. Ooh, wait a minute. Ooh, and a huge slam on the outside. Great move there by Victoria. Okay. Okay, she, she on point right. Ooh, and a stop right to the arm. Damn. Trying to take her out right now. And now just stomping the hell out of her. She better get her back into the ring if she wants a victory. Beating them up on the outside ain't going to do too much. Damn, a knee right with that knee brace. Trying to hurt Jones here. And yeah, I mean, you could definitely say that Philly and and Violence United are definitely not friends either. It seems like, it seems like you say that a lot with Violence United. Like a lot of the members just aren't liked by anybody. When it was this, oh my goodness, sunset flip backstabber with a pin to, oh, just a two count. Just a two count, and she rolls out the ring. Smart, smart move by Jones. But Jones has to remember, she eventually has to get back into the ring here. Look at that high angle backdrop suplex. Another beautiful move there by Victoria, and a knee right to the face with that. That knee brace, and honestly, I don't know. That that might be a weapon. That might be, a, you know, I don't know. You could use that as a weapon, to be honest. Look at that right uppercut there. Oh, and that swinging back elbow again. That elbow was vicious. You think they're going to go for a kick, and they just swing that elbow around, catch you in the jaw. Down you go, night-night. Now swings back into the ring here. Now what is he about? Oh, that right hand. Damn. That right hand did damage. It's not Mare take over here. And now slowing down the pace of this match. Smart move by Victoria. Slowing down the pace, keeping it where she... Oh, Mercedes with the kip up and a clothesline right into the corner. And she better use this advantage to her best right now. And now just choking the, choking the, the member of Violence United here. And now what's going to happen? Go behind. What's this? Into a blue thunder bomb. Just drilled it right into the mat. Referee for the count. One, two, three. Wow, Mercedes Jones wins again. The PWR Women's Championship. Wow, just won the championship again here. I cannot believe it. She defeated. Uh, Victoria on PWR Rivals. That get, I guess that gave the owner of PWR the idea of adding her to this match and Mercedes wanted it. And now she is the champion again in the women's division. I can't believe it. I truly cannot believe it. I, I didn't know if she was going to be able to make it happen. I mean, Mercedes Jones was on the slump for so long. And now she is back at the top of her game, at the top of the women's division. And she is the new PWR women's champion, representing Philly's most wanted. That is that is great, great news there to have. She's bringing home the gold. I, yeah, you can't do better than that. You can't. And Mercedes Jones walking away with the gold here tonight. Congratulations to Mercedes. Philly is in the building. The following contest is a steel cage match. And it's for the Pro Wrestling World Hardcore Championship. Yes, you've heard it. The Enforcer Rules match. And uh, we have a man who wants to take that championship away from Dustin Jeffries, which is easier said than done. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. But tonight, he is going to go all out and try. I mean, this man making his return to P. 
WR. This man here is ready and prepared and ready to sacrifice it all in order to take the gold away from Dustin Jeffries. And that man is Jack. Jack is back. And we are going to see what he can do here tonight going up against Dustin Jeffries. It seems like there's a lot of people who are just a, a tad bit on the scared side to challenge Dustin Jeffries for that hardcore cha I mean, who can, honestly, who can keep that championship away from Dustin Jeffries? Who? Who can truly take that championship away from him? Because it just seems like there's a situation where if even if you do take that championship away from him, he gets it back. Like, it's, I mean, honestly, who can keep that? It's not even the, okay. So I would think that it's not even the point of defeating him that one time, right? Defeating him for the championship. I don't think it's, it's that. I think it's in that rematch, making sure he doesn't get the championship back. That's what I think it is. That's what I think it boils down to. And uh, Jack here has to be on point. Dustin Jeffries is no joke. Oh, this man is dangerous. He is... I, once again, I, I have to say it again. He seems to be the MVP of PWR. He honestly seems to be the MVP. When you think about champions, honestly... Dustin Jeffries, if he's not on the top of your list, then I mean, once again, it's just a situation where you got to think, who can who can who can stop this man? Who can stop this man? Honestly. Honestly, this man has been on such a roll with that championship. It's just there's not even a thought that comes to your head of someone who can dominate him. There's not even a thought like who can dominate Dustin Jeffries? Nobody. He's the enforcer. Like he does the dominating. And in this match, he definitely has a winning record. So the odds are kind of stacked against Jack. Jack is going to have to fight and claw to win this one. I but I'm I'm not sure he can do it. I'm I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm not I can't bet. I can't bet on this one. This one I'm not sure. Introducing the challenger from Kentucky. Weighing in at 231 pounds, Jack the Reaper Sanders. And Jack Sanders, the Reaper is here. We're going to see what the Reaper can do. Introducing the champion from Indiana, weighing in at 245 pounds, he is the Pro Wrestling World Hardcore Champion. The Enforcer, Dustin Jeffries. Dustin Jeffries, laser focused. He know when that cage comes down, it's go time. Now the referee taking the championship. And, and that's the thing. Every time a champion gives up that title to the referee, it can always be the last time. But for some reason with Dustin Jeffries, I think he's just like, hold on to it real quick. Let me handle my business and you'll hand it back to me when the bell rings. And now the fans are just on their feet, ready to see another great championship matchup here as the cage descends. The bell rings. And, oh, a spinning back kick there by Jeffries. Oh, and a right hand. Irish whip with the reversal into the corner now. Jeffries with the advantage. Shoulder blocks right to the gut of Jack Sanders here. And Jack Sanders is a PWR original. Mind you, he, he, he was here from the start. MPWR now, he looked a bit different. He definitely looked a bit different than what he does now. I mean, no chicken gimmick. But uh, now he is, uh, he is who he is, the evolution of Jack Sanders. And, and this is what you see. And now picks him up here. What is this? Looks like a border toss just through him. And that's the power. That's the strength of Dustin Jeffries right there. That's what you get when you go up against that man. You go up against a man who's ready to destroy you oh and another knee right to the back and it might be one of those those knee nights and nope decides to pick him up surprisingly enough and now what's he gonna do here lifts him up spins him drops him down and still this match is going to continue now enforcers rules if you haven't seen this before enforcers rules 
is two out of three falls. The way you get those falls is knockout. So you have to knock out your opponent twice in this match to get the victory. And now picks him up again and dumps him down. And still, he's in this matchup here. Jeffries, Jeffries, I think, just enjoys punishing his opponents here. I think he just, he loves it. Oh, and the elbow drop right to the spine. He loves it to the umpteenth degree. Like, that's just his thing. That's what he does. He hurts people. He likes it. That's what he, he enjoys being paid to hurt people and win championships. Oh, and a neck breaker with that knee. I don't know. We might have to make neck breakers with the knee brace illegal. Because moves like that, man, that, mm, they do damage. Now Jack trying to make a comeback here. We're going to see if he's going to be able to do it here. Full head of steam. Forearm shot right to the face. And a running bulldog. And it might be over here. It just might be over here. On a right hand. Oh, it might be over. It definitely might be over here. Cut throw. And a, ooh. Goodness, just drilled him. It's over. Ooh, and a stomp right to the back here. And a stomp right to the back of the head. He's trying to take him out, out. He is trying to take him out for real. Now, head. Damn, he just had butt fire out of him. He, he trying to take him out here. He is not playing around for real. And now, what is Jack going to do here? Picks him up. Dumps him down with the gourd buster. Sit out gourd buster here by Jack. Now, what is he planning on doing here? Plans on working on the legs of the champion. And once again, Jack has years under his belt here in PWR. He did win the Hardcore Champion Championship, I do believe, in PWR for a cup of coffee. I, I, I do believe. But, I mean... Just when you think of, of champions here, once again, and I mean, I said this before, you think of champions, you got to think of Dustin Jeffries. Dustin Jeffries is like the go-to as far as stable champions here in PWR. If a title, if all the titles are, if 95% of the titles are going to change hands in one night, the one title that you don't necessarily think will change is the Hardcore Championship. And why? Because Dustin Jeffries is that tough of a guy. Ooh! Look at those headbutts. I'm surprised neither one of these men are busted open yet. I'm very surprised about that one. Just truly. I truly am. And uh, Jack now trying to fire himself up. And he better be fired up going up against the champion. Don't go into it half uh, halfway. You got to go into it all the way here. And what is he going to do here? High risk maneuver and an elbow right to the small of the back. And Dustin Jeffries is in definite trouble right now. He might, it might be over. Oh, no, good reversal there. Let me shut up. Oh, and a boot right to the face out of nowhere. And now Dustin saying that it is over here. Stomp to the face again. And now picks him up here. And another power bomb sit out style. And once again, no pins, no submissions. You got to knock your opponent out. You can't climb the cage and escape. That's why you haven't seen nobody try to escape yet. You got to knock out your opponent. That's what has to happen here. And right now, Dustin Jeffries going for the ride here. And a knee right to the forehead of Jack Sanders. And now Jack is just beat down right now. Jawbreaker, good reversal. Still showing he got some fight in him. Oh, no. Go behind half Nelson Tazplex here. Oh, it might dislocate his arm. Sheesh. Ooh, tried to stomp him, but he rolled out the way. Okay. But Dustin Jeffries, once again, he just he stays in it. He does not wait. And, oh, my goodness, Snake Eyes right on top of that rope there, trying to cut that wind circulation off. And now it, it might be that time. Picks him up. Dumps him down. Dumps him down, and it's still not over yet. But Jeffries taking a breather. He understands this, this, is, this is a marathon, not a race. Jeffries understands what needs to be done to win this type of matchup. That's what he knows. Oh, big knee. Oh, with that knee brace again, and that's that's what I was talking about. That knee brace, man. You do moves like that. That mm, that's very iffy, man. That almost gives you an advantage. I mean, look at these go behind reversals here. Just a back and forth of go. Ooh, punch right to the jaw. Ooh, tried to go for a super kick, didn't get that one off. Sidestep that one. And now the picks him up. 
dumps him down with a 1916 and picks him right back up. Ooh, good reversal and a huge clothesline. Just took down Jack. Oh no, it might be over. It just might be over here. Picks him up, dumps him down. Dumps him down. And I am telling you, yo, this, this, I'm telling you when the bell rings, that's when you know someone lost. And somebody won, that's when you know. Right now it's just a, a battle of nutrition right now, basically. Oh no, what's this? Ooh, he uses a lot of moves that like implement him use, uh, utilizing his knee brace. That's one thing you could say about Jack Sanders. His years in PWR, he's gotten, he's smartened himself up about what moves he needs to utilize. He doesn't need to do too much. As long as it implements his knee brace, he, he gets more, more punishment out of it. And now look at this, a power bomb again. Just that strength alone is just, just damaging Jack. And now a kick right to the gut. Smart move. The reversal. Ooh, judo throw. Okay. All right. And now picks him up again and dumps him down. Damn, I'm telling you, listen, these two men, the, the plan is just to hurt each other. That's that's the go-to. Just beat the hell out of each other. It's fine. And now a jawbreaker reversal here. Jack wanting to stay in this match here in a big, ooh, damn, out of nowhere. And now trying to pick up the champion here. Ooh, and dumps him face first right into the mat. Now what is Jack gonna do here? Picks him up again. Oh, slams his face right into the mat again. Okay, well, see, here's the thing. Now, I mean, Jack once again, man, he's no new. He's he's no newbie, man. He's he's he about that business. That's the one thing I can say. He is about his business, and and winning is his business. That's what he doesn't want to come to PWR to put somebody over. He wants to be in here to be a champion. And he has his opportunity here right now. He got to go all out. Stay on top of your game. And now what's this here? He's going to go for that neck breaker again. Oh, he got that victory. All he needs is one more. All he needs is one more. And he beat Dustin Jeffries. But once again, beating Dustin Jeffries one time is different than beating him back-to-back -back times. Oh, it might be cause to be a... Bit worried here. It might be caused to be a bit worried here. And Dustin Jeffries is in some trouble right now. He definitely seems to be uh, not in his uh, not in great shape right now. He definitely needs to do something. And now Jack going up to the to that top rope and an elbow drop off the cage. I wonder if they want to like do some additional damage and just climb all the way up and jump off. That would be amazing. Oh, tried to go for an elbow. Kind of grazed him, but nonetheless got it off. Mm -hmm. And now putting the boots to the champion here. And he is busted open. Man, he is, he is bleeding profusely right now. He has to do something. He really has to do something. He is getting worked over here by Jack. Like, Jack is... Oh my goodness, biting his fingers here. Wow, he is acting different right now. He is not playing those full mount strikes right to the face, and he is bleeding bad. Dustin Jeffries, if if he's going to win this match, he has to get this over with ASAP right now. And, ooh. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, Dustin Jeffries has the heart of a lion he is staying in this match even after being bludgeoned i mean look at him he looks like a crime scene oh my goodness picks him up dumps him down and it's still not over dustin jeffries is just staying in this one and see he could last so long that all it takes is just that one opportunity for him to realize you're making a mistake and 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 handle it. Oh, forearm shot there. Good reversal. He is bleeding bad. They need to do something. They might have to stop this match. They like they might really have to stop this match because he is bleeding really, really bad. Like I don't see him 
lasting too much longer with all that blood like coming out. Like, I really don't. And Jeffries now looks like he's going to the wishing well, going for the same move multiple times here in that power bomb again. And uh, yeah, that might be his thing right now. I mean, if that's the only thing he can do. And now, what is Jeffries gonna do here? Look like he's gonna go for that Falcons air. Just drilled him, and now it is tied 1-1. One, one. The next knockout, and I, dude, we're going to see a champion. We'll go reversal there. Push them off. Now what is he going to do? Oh, good reversal there by Jeffries. Okay. Oh, right hand. Oh, good reversal there, Jeffries. Okay. Oh, punch right to the gut there. Now what's this? What's this? Diamond Dust out of nowhere just dropping Jack Sanders. And Dustin Jeffries better stay hit. He better keep keep in his mind in this game. It is tied 1-1. One, one. The next person to knock their opponent out is the champion. And it looks like Dustin Jeffries might have just successfully defended his championship. No, not yet. Not yet. Okay. And the, look how, yo, he is... Is there a face under that blood? <laughs> oh my goodness, sit out power bomb. He better bust open uh, Jack Sanders, man. You can't just let that man bust you open like that and not do nothing. Pump handle here. What's he going to go for? Suplex. Just throwing him around, but yeah, he needs to do something because uh, he's busted open pretty bad here. Now, what's this? Going for that Falcon Arrow again. Still not over yet. He is trying to put he's trying to put Jack Sanders away, but man, this is one hard fought matchup right here between these two men. Oh, overhand right. Now what's gonna happen here? Jawbreaker. Damn. What if he beat him with a jawbreaker? That'd be terrible. Oh, good reversal. Kick right to the knee. Okay, Dustin. Dustin trying to stay in this one, but I'm not sure. Ooh, threw his face right into the cage. Damn, he, yo, his face is crazy right now. His face is crazy looking. Damn, just threw him to the ground. Get up, young man. Damn, kicked him right in the ribs. Oh, no, it's over. It's over. Dustin Jeffries, man. Dustin Jeffries just shows time and time again that he is a beast. This man here is not playing around. This is what he does. This is truly what this man does right here. He goes all out. He shows that every time he is in a match, that he is going to go all out against his competition. And I'm telling you, Dustin Jeffries basically like cleaned up the hardcore division like that's basically what Dustin Jeffries did he cleaned it up there's not too many men who I mean is just capable of, of fighting this one. Dustin Jeffries once again shows that he is the man this comes to no surprise Dustin Jeffries PWR's MVP. This next contest is the co-main event of the evening. Jonathan Ray and Roy Pierce going at it in an MMA style match. I mean, here's the thing. Roy Pierce sat there and said that Jonathan Ray, more or less, is the Marty Jannetty of technical difficulty and that Roy Pierce is a superior athlete of that former team but tonight he's gonna have to show if that's true and uh, both of these men um, definitely are technically sound but we're gonna see them go at it in this MMA matchup knockout or submission one or the two who is going to tap out Who's going to do it? Who's going to be able to make that happen here tonight? Not sure. It's, it's going to be a crazy one. You know, you got, you got some great matches that you've seen tonight. And this is going to be one of them too. So, 
here we go i mean now we got roy pierce making his way to the ring this 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 guy here man i'm telling you he's he's ready and prepared to go roy pierce is just i don't know he's he's a junior heavyweight because he's just too jacked i i don't see it <laughs> i don't see how it, but i mean this man made history the first uh, champion here in PWR to hold titles in two different um, in two different uh, weight classes, not weight classes, but divisions and uh, we're going to see tonight where does this rivalry go after this who will walk away with the first victory between these two men here, who who is going to walk away with that victory because I mean if you ask Roy Pierce, he's going to walk away with the victory easy Roy Pierce, man, he's ready. He better be ready. This is the co-main event. Like, this match here has to be five stars. This match has to be five stars. This match is the co-main event of the evening. After this is the main event. Like, these guys are high on the card, man. They got to go all out. I want to see them go all out. They got to beat the hell out of each other. They, they got to, they gotta, you know, show what they about. And now Jonathan Wright, oh, caught that cold breaker out of nowhere. Damn, just caught that cold breaker out of nowhere. And now Pierce is, oh, no. Roy Pierce looks like he's going to go. Look at this Romero special here. Oh, with the dragon sleeper here. Is he going to tap? Is he? Oh, punch right to the head. Guess not. <laughs> Guess he wasn't about tapping out just yet. Oh, wait a minute. Roll through. Roll through with that heel hook. Oh, it might be over. It might be over. Is he going to make him tap early? No, not yet. Not yet. See, they trying to take each other out. They know what time it is. They know exactly what time it is. Oh, try to go for a knife edge. Missed that. Irish whip right into the corner. Oh, big elbow. And security right to the side of the head. And down goes Pierce. And once again, these men are former PWR Tag Team Champions. Not only that. Both of these men have held the PWR Junior Heavyweight Championship. Both of these men. Like, that's the amazing thing about this matchup here. Both these men have made the same type of success here in PWR. Then they put themselves together and, and even had more success. And then it was just a situation where Roy Pierce, I guess, was just getting out of pocket with Jonathan Ray on a regular basis. And, you know, with that, it just kind of boils and, and, and festers into distrust. And then they lose the tag team championships. And then Roy Pierce is like, I'm fine with losing the titles. I'm too good for those titles. I'm too good to team up the right. Ooh, look at that snap jab. Got him dazed and confused right there. Single leg. Turns him over. Ooh, ankle lock. Ankle lock here. Ooh, okay. Look, at the, look man, both of these men know about submissions here. They don't play at all. One goes for the leg. The other goes for the arm. Ooh, swinging reverse STO out of nowhere. And Jonathan Ray is dazed and confused. Big clothesline. Another clothesline taking him down, trying to go for his own. It catches a super kick right in the jaw. And he's not knocked out. Once again, submission or knockout. DDT. Damn. Just DDT the hell out of him and... And Ray is in some trouble here. He has to do something. He got to do something. He is getting worked over here. And he's fighting back. That's the one thing he will do. He will always fight. And now what's this taking his time? Working on the arm of Roy Pierce here. Very smart. Just taking his time. Oh, and working on that hand too. He's just working on the whole arm here. That's kind of um Roy Pierce thing there. Working on the arm. And oh, not to also forget... Roy Pierce was in the main event of Super Battle 86. Let's not act like that didn't happen. Let's not act like that didn't happen. He knows what it is to be in the main event. Jonathan Ray, not, not yet. Not yet. Co-main event, he can do. But main event, I, no, I believe one time he has been. One time, I do believe, and that might have been uh, the, uh, the, uh, the roulette chamber. It might have been the roulette chamber match that he had. Ooh, punched him right in the face. I thought he tapped out. 
I thought he tapped out. That would have been something. Oh, he got tangled up in the ropes here. We'll go behind. Quick move. Gut buster. And it's always that first step, that speed. He also has that. He's so explosive off of his feet here. Roy Pierce might be the bigger of the two competitors. But I think he holds a speed advantage over Jonathan Ray here. And now picks him up here. Dumps him down with a DDT. And I think, yeah, he's busted open here. And not going for the pin because you can't. He's trying to make him submit now. Trying to go for that arm and leg bar right in the center of the ring. And able to get out of that one there. They still got to keep it going. Roll through. What's this? DDT right in the center of the ring. And Pierce might be in some trouble here. And I spoke too soon. Dragon screw leg whip taking down Jonathan Ray. And now what's going to happen here? Picking him up. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? DDT. Damn. But it's still no, no KO just yet. No KO. They still got to fight. They still got to battle. Like I said, this won't be. Ooh, look at this. Look at that. Cattle mutilation right there. Trying to get a great submission off. And that's basically like a butterfly with a bridge. Almost like a reverse full Nelson. Irish whip right into the corner. Big elbow. And Seguri right to the side of the head. A one upmanship here that you're seeing here in the co main event. And if this was MMA rules, we just passed the first round. Five minutes has elapsed. And now gut wrench suplex. Just drilled him right onto the mat. And uh oh. Ray might be in trouble here. Will he get KO'd? Ooh, code breaker. Nope, still in this one. Still in this one. Not just yet. And now it looks like he's gonna go for looks like he's gonna go for that dragon sleeper again. Trying to get a submission off on Jonathan Ray here is very difficult. Even with him being busted open here. Will he Ooh, look at the punch right in the head, see? He's not going to stay in no submission in, uh, that long. You're going to have to knock that man out. That's basically how it's going to... Ooh, ooh, kicks. Ooh, swing and a miss. Ooh, that kick right to the side of the head. And Jonathan Ray doing his thing right now. Arm drag takeover. Now what's this picking him up? And now what is he going to do here? Ooh, punch right to the ribs. And now what's this? Throws him. Threw him face first right into the cage. Damn. And now looks like he's going for that submission again, trying to make Jonathan Ray tap out. Will he be able to do that here? Um not, nope, not gonna be the case. See, that's I'm telling you, like with Jonathan Ray, man, it's not as easy as you think. And the famous are taking him down, but he's still in it. He's still in it. Like I said, it's not gonna be easy. It's not one of those type of matches where you just get an easy victory. It just does not happen like that. It doesn't. I'm sorry. And now that arm bar again. Will he tap? He's holding it pretty long. Nope. Not going to tap all off of that. He's, yo, he's hanging in there. Oh, Snapdragon. Snapdragon. It's over. If he went for the pin, but there's no pin. Ha. Huh. <laughs> and now big European uppercut. Built reversal there by Ray. And now roll through. Heel hook. Will he tap out? This has made people tap out here. Will Roy Pierce, no, Roy Pierce did not tap out. He got out of that. That's what I'm saying. These two guys equal each other out when it comes to submissions. Like, I don't see it happening. I see them, like, knocking, somebody getting knocked out here. Ooh, running code breaker. Running code breaker. Ooh, stomp right to the arm here. And now look at this cattle mutilation again. Trying to get the submission victory here, but Jonathan Ray is not having it at all he is not going to submit he's not going to give Roy Pierce the satisfaction he's not like I don't know like what Roy Pierce plan if his true plan here is to win this one but I don't know it looks like it ain't working knife edge chop taking down Roy Pierce and now Jonathan Ray taking his time and now trying to stretch out his former tag team partner here Maybe can injure his leg, maybe, possibly. Maybe that was the plan. Oh, forearm shot. Sheesh. That shiver did damage. Uh-oh, roll through. He's going to work the leg, and that's the smart move. Working on the leg, trying to go for that heel hook, getting a submission victory. But it's not going to be easy. Both of these men know each other's moves. They, 
They know each other very well. Elbow. It's a Gary right to the side of the head. Taking down. Taking down Roy Pierce here. And now about to break the arm of Roy Pierce. And boom. That move right there is so painful. If it doesn't break your arm, you wish it did. As much pain you go through. And Ray taking a breather here, as we all should. And once again, thank you guys for watching. I definitely appreciate it if you're still here. I definitely appreciate it so much. Thank you guys for watching and sticking with PWR. And now, cattle mutilation. And no, no submission there. It might... What if this ends up as a draw? It's so strange. Jonathan Ray, I think, has more the most draws in PWR history. I think he's at, like, two? I think he's at two. This might be the third one if, once again, the second round has almost elapsed. 15-minute round, I mean 15-minute match, five, three five-minute rounds. And now they're on the final round, basically. And now going for that submission again. Will he tap? I don't think he will. Nope. Not going to tap out there. I'm telling you, if this goes to a draw, I will be so surprised. And look at this. Collar and elbow. Null and voided that one with an elbow right to the jaw. And now Ray has to do something. I don't know what Ray can do, to be honest. This just seems like a match neither one of these men can actually win. And it's because they know each other so well. And that's the problem, you know? I mean, it turns out for a great match, great back and forth. And I don't know. It just d doesn't seem like either one of these men could put away the other. And they missed a stomp there. I don't know what he was doing. Now what's this? Another cattle mutilation. Trying to go for the submission. Will he make him submit? Nope. And this is the final round. We're in round number three. And still no submission yet. Oh no, what's this? Arm bar. Arm bar. Cross arm breaker. Will he tap? Will he tap? Will he? Will he? He's holding on. He's holding on. It might be over. It might be over. Oh, he was not able to tap out. Oh, tried to go for a knee and the man ran into a cold breaker. And that didn't knock him out. This match is crazy. They are going at it here. Now he's going to try to go for that dragon. Now see, here's the problem with that move. He's going to go for that dragon sleeper. But the setup for it takes so much time. It takes so much time. And it's taking time away from that clock. And now trying to go for it again. And the punch right to the head. Jonathan Ray is not going... I don't think neither one of these men will tap out to each other. I, I don't know. I'm at the point now where I just don't see that happening. And damn, a hard Irish whip right into the corner. Picks him up. Is he going to dump him with that DDT? And this match is still continuing. Less than three and a half minutes remaining. This is no joke. Ooh, combination knee. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, stop to the arm. Oh, and a kick right to the back. Damn. There was some quick moves there by Ray. They going at it here, but I don't know. Once again, it's difficult to see or say who can win here. That's that's the problem. And now try to roll through there, getting out of that submission. Not going to submit. Oh, and a knee right to the gut, taking down Pierce and a kick to the chest. Less than three minutes, guys. Less than three minutes, and look at this cattle mutilation trying to get the submission trying and no go just yet you got to think about the time that it takes to set up these submissions the, the the amount of time that these submissions take to set up and how difficult it is to stay on point here and it's like these two men have been battling for almost 15 minutes two and a half minutes remaining this might be a draw oh power bomb damn this just might be a draw. Like, I'm almost sure that it's going to be a draw here. I, I don't know. Two minutes left. Two minutes left. And now what's this? About to break the arm here. And see, I get it. Like, they're going for the arm to utilize that cattle mutilation. But it's just a problem of their submission defense is so great. They train together. They, like I said, they know each other's moves. How are you going to beat somebody? Even with that eat defeat. How are you going to beat him with it? You can't. Almost a minute and a half to go. These guys are fighting to a draw. That's my bet. 
My bet is they're fighting towards the draw. Oh, big elbow. Kick to the gut. Swing and a miss. Oh, and a kick right to the chest. I think this is going to be a draw. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Look at this. Triangle. Triangle. He's holding on. Oh, punch right to the head. Damn, those multiple punches to the head. Oh, my goodness. It is going down. It is going down. Oh, big knee. Taking him down right to the mat. This is a fight. This is a brawl. This is what we wanted to see. Ooh, belly to belly. But that belly to belly ain't knocking nobody out. That's the one thing. That belly to belly isn't knocking anybody out. And now look at this gut wrench. Into a slam. I, I just don't know. I don't know what can be done. It's 48 seconds. 48 seconds. This is going to be a draw. I don't believe it. These men were back and forth. And it basically went to a draw. That goes to show that these... What? Wow, Jonathan Ray. 35 seconds left and won with an arm bar. Wow. 35 seconds left and Jonathan Ray got by with a victory. That is amazing. That is true. I, you know what? I got to give it to Jonathan Ray. I got to give it to that man. He, he's both, no, I got to give it to both of them. They stuck in it and gave a great match. Jonathan Ray showing that he is not the, uh, the Janetti of uh, technical difficulty here, but is this the end of their feud? We are going to find out, but congratulations to Jonathan Ray walking away with a victory in the co-main event. And welcome to the main event of the evening. The PWR World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. And Aiden Davis will be defending that championship against five men tonight. And Corey Awesome winning a tag team match to get this opportunity. Let's see what he does with it. And this, oh, the lights are out here. Don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Gotta turn the lights on here, buddy. But um, the next man to come out teamed up with Corey Awesome to get this opportunity. And that man is Azriel. And Azriel better take this match very seriously. He can be PWR world champion. If he wins this here, he better stay very, very focused. And this man here, whew, he wants to fight. And Roderick McGillicuddy coming down wearing an Eagles shirt or talking trash about the Eagles? I'm not sure. Okay, <laughs> but we'll see what he does here tonight in this match. And the next competitor is making his way to the ring. This man here knows what he wants to do. And tonight, if it goes his way, he'll be walking out PWR World Heavyweight Champion. Spike ready to go. The next man up in this match. And Ken Washington focused. For weeks, he's been saying he's betting on him. We are going to find out tonight if tonight is his night to become par world heavyweight champion and the champ is here
and Aiden Davis prepared to defend that championship at any cost. And this match is about to begin. Referee calls for the bell, and here we go. This is for the PWR. Wait a minute, going for the pin here, too. Ooh, almost an elimination there. I was a little bit surprised about that. <laughs> Uh, Roderick McGillicuddy, man, really wants to be the PWR World Heavyweight Champion. So does Spike. I mean, both of these men here are going to go all out, and they're opening this contest here in the main event. Look at that springboard moonsault. And Spike is going all out here. He wants the championship badly. Ooh, jab. Look at those kicks and punches. He ain't playing, and Roderick needs to do something here. He's not really faring too well against Spike. For some odd reason here, that's that's a bit strange, but nonetheless, still trying to hold on. Irish whip right into the corner, big forearm shot taking down Spike. And I'm telling you, this is this is going to be one hell of a matchup. Damn, just stomping the hell out of him. Spike, do something. <laughs> Spike is getting worked over now. Now going for the pin attempt here. Referee for the count one, two, just a two count. Spike able to kick out of that one there. And now. Roderick with a knee right to the chest. Trying to crack that uh, sternum there. And Spike is in a little bit of trouble here. And the countdown begins. Who is going to enter the, the roulette chamber next? Ooh, look at those strikes. Okay. Ooh, a right hook. That didn't drop Spike, so he better stay on point here. And Spike with the reversal there. And into the match now is Corey Awesome. No relation to Mike Awesome. They might be distant cousins. I'm not sure. And now, it looks like Roderick McGillicuddy tried to go for something, caught an elbow instead, and a right hand turns him inside out. And now it looks like, ooh, go for a side slam. Oh, wow, such disrespect. Such disrespect here. And now, Corey Awesome wanted to do something here, roll through, working on the leg here. Ooh, and Spike filling that one. And uh, that's another thing you got to think about in the contest like this. You got to watch your back. And wow, you really, you're trying to go for a pin off of that? Come on, Roderick McGillicuddy is trying to steal victories here, basically. That's what it looks like to me. He's trying to steal victories. That's, hey, that's a bit off. Ooh, clothesline right in the back of the head. Damn. Clothesline the hell out of him right there. Now what's this? Picks him up. Oh my goodness. That lung blower right there. And now tilt a whirl into an inside cradle, going for the pen attempt, referee for the count. One, two, just a two count. Spike able to kick out. And now Roderick, what is this? Ooh, German suplex, going for a pin of his own. Referee for the count, just a one count. Easy kick out there. And now another competitor will enter this match. Who will it be? Ken Washington, the next man in it. Spike looking like he wants to meet him on the outside. And throw him on the inside. <laughs> and a pinfall or submission could only happen inside the ring. Frog splash on a Roderick McGillicuddy. Going for the pin combination. Referee for the count. One, two, and just a two count. Just a two count. And just to let you guys know that the rematch clause for uh, Aiden Davis will be on, if he loses this match, will be on Rivals. He said he wants to one and done this. And if he loses again then, you know, he can accept that. But wait a minute. Ken Washington, what is he going for? Spike turning around. Spear! Flipped him inside out with that spear. Going for the pin two and three. Spike has been the first eliminated man in this match by Ken Washington with that spear. And wait a minute, pump handle. Oh, it's a neck breaker. Damn, just drilled him. Just drilled him there and now both men are down <laughs> ken washington has his uh can have his way here basically and now what is he gonna do Ooh, kick right to the ribs and an uppercut beautiful combination moves there and now what is he planning on doing here picking him up the strength advantage definitely goes to ken washington i have to say that that's a fact now, Azriel Ali, second to last man in this match. Ooh, headbutt. And now, Ken Washington, overhead belly to belly suplex. And now, Azriel going after Ken Washington here. 
Now what is he going to do? Picks him up. Back breaker. Damn. Corey Awesome still standing this one. Smallest man in this match, but able to stay in it. Got to give him props on that one. That's, that's definitely a big look, you know, when you're basic. I mean, he has to be, what, junior heavyweight size? Maybe even lighter? Oh, the Irish whip right into one of those pods. And what is this? Corey Awesome with a spear through one of the pods. And Roderick McGillicuddy is dead. Oh, and a sidewalk slam on the inside, but Corey, awesome. Showing that he wants a victory here tonight. He's not playing, but wait a minute. Azrael going for the pin here. Just the two count. Ken Washington able to kick out. And Roderick is done. Sheesh. Roderick is finished off here, and Corey, awesome, needs to get him in the ring where he can pin him, actually. But what is this? DDT. Damn. He might be done. Wow, why is he, he is, he is putting hands on Roderick right now. Roderick is getting that work, that DDT, oh, he's busted open. And now the champion is making his way in the ring, Aiden Davis, now going after Azrael here, and Ken Washington, wow, just kind of walked off and went to the outside, and now looks like he wants to go after Corey Awesome and throws him right into that broken pod, which doesn't make sense. And uh, now what is he going to do? Oh, throwing him into the turnbuckle, sort of. Oh, throwing him into the turnbuckle again. Oh, oh my goodness. They are handling business on the outside. Aiden Davis handling Azriel. And now what is Aiden Davis going to do? Picking up his opponent here. And I don't know what's going on here. And STO on the inside of the ring. And now what is Aiden Davis picking up his opponent? Leg sweep. Now putting the boots right to the champion here. And what is Roderick doing? Now throwing him back into the ring. Okay. Finally. And now it looks like the last, all five men getting back into the ring here. And now Corey Awesome backing up into the corner here. Not a, not getting into this fight just yet. Now right, I mean that left hand by Aiden. And now who is going to be the next man eliminated? Looks like Azrael getting that work by by Roderick here. Oh, and a kip up. No sell. Oh, and a spear out of nowhere. Referee for the count. One, two, three. Roderick got speared out of his boots. That literally came out of left field. You didn't see it coming, and Aiden Davis was like, appreciate it. Threw him out of the ring. <laughs> Can't pin me on the outside, buddy. Now Aiden Davis picking up Ken Washington here. Azriel has a Corey Awesome, kind of not in a great position here. Ooh, wait a minute, he was trying to go after him. And what's this? Picks him up into a sit-out spine buster. Damn, just drilled the champ. Now, what tried to go for something there? That didn't work for him. And now, what's he do here? Going for the pin attempt. Referee for the, well, referee for the count. I don't think he's going to get a three, really. Yeah, not going to happen. Aiden Davis needs to do something here if he wants to walk away with the championship. I'm telling you. Now, oh, just drops him down. Reverse DDT. Slop drop, if you will. Either or, you know. Oh, jab. 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 Rumble. Young man, rumble that right hook. And I don't know. Azrael might be in trouble. Wow, he just left him. Aiden is feeling himself. He got to relax. <laughs> Aiden got to relax. How you going to sit there and put hands on him and just walk off like it's Aiden going after uh, Ken Washington? Oh, tried to go. Look, he tried to go for that Thanos punch. Oh, I caught him with a shoulder block. He really enjoys that shoulder block. Let's just let's start that rumor. Now, as Rail Brains get scrambled into that turnbuckle here, drops him down. And now, what's going to happen here? And the Irish whip. Wait a minute, look at this. Thanos punch just drilled him. Going for the pin. One, two, three. Azriel just got eliminated here. And now Corey Awesome. Ooh! Tried to go at Aiden and got knocked out. And now Aiden Davis not playing around. Ooh, tried to go for that Thanos. Got reversal. Ooh, and that drop kick right to the knee. Beautiful move there by Corey Awesome. And now Ken Washington, oh, just got kicked in the leg. Yeah, the speed advantage definitely goes to Corey Awesome. But, yeah, giving up the size advantage is not going to help you. 
Oh, jab. Damn. Out on his feet. Jab again. Sheesh. Overhand right. Another overhand right. Aiden is putting hands on him. Oh, kick to the back. Drills him down into the mat. Oh, and a jab of his own. Okay. Okay, Ken. <laughs> we like that. Ken Washington wanting to be PWR World Heavyweight Champion here. Oh, and a gut buster. In a sense, huh? And Aiden did. Wow. Aiden stealing the pin. Two, three. And is down to Aiden and Ken Washington again. Oh, and a knife edge. Oh, punch right to the ribs. Overhand right. And a spear just chopped him in half. Going for the pin. One, two, three. Ken Washington just defeated Aiden Davis for the PWR World Heavyweight Championship. I cannot believe it. Just defeated Aiden Davis. Oh, my God. Goodness, oh, and that frog splash, damn. Just frog splashed him out of nowhere. And then almost got his elimination, didn't get that one off. And look at that pop up, Horror Karana. Corey Awesome definitely did his thing in this match, man. Look at this. Spear right through the right through the uh the pod. And I cannot believe it. The new champ. And Ken Washington is the new PWR World Heavyweight Champion. I cannot believe it. A lifelong dream has made it. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Catch you on the next video. Later.